What happens if it rains this weekend at Talladega? Let me tell you. First things first, if it does rain this weekend at Talladega, you are going to start off by putting your rain jacket on. Let's all practice this. Two arms through both of the arms, assuming you have two arms. If you don't, I apologize for that. That was insensitive of me. You're going to then zip up said rain jacket. I prefer to zip it all the way up to the top here. Keeps heat in, keeps water out. Potentially, if you please, you can put your hood on as well. That's the first step. This has happened before. NASCAR has had rain delays, but that hasn't stopped people on the internet acting like they are completely baffled by the idea of a NASCAR rain delay. They're more baffled than Troy Barnes is at this point. So to quote Asher Roth real quick, when it comes to rain jackets, you better put two on. So we're playing it safe this weekend, guys and girls. We're putting two rain jackets on. This is my bigger rain jacket. We're playing it double safe. Because if it's going to rain, we want to make sure we stay extra dry. Now, the neckbeards, the doomsday preppers of the NASCAR fan base, the two overlap on a Venn diagram for sure. Zip it all the way up here. They're saying that Sunday is a complete wash. They've got the weather people. They're on the ground. They're saying... They got Jesse Ventura people out here saying that it's harp. They're controlling the weather. They're making sure that it doesn't, that it rains for NASCAR this weekend at Talladega. You know the type of people I'm talking about. But listen, this just happened two months ago, back in February at the Daytona 500. I know, I spent three days in a row in a rain jacket. This one right here, actually, not this bigger one. That would be absurd. But we don't know if it's going to be a complete wash. The weekend isn't even here yet. And then if it is a complete wash, well, then we just race on Monday. So one of the best things NASCAR ever did was moving the clash earlier this year up to Saturday because it was going to be a biblical, biblical amount of water coming down on Sunday in Los Angeles. So because there was going to be a statewide emergency, they decided that instead of taking away safety personnel on Sunday, they would just do it on Saturday before the storm got there and then they could get all of their people out. Very smart move, applaud them for that. Unfortunately, you knew when they did that, then then Next time it did rain, you would have all of the people, the mouth breathers on the internet being like, they should just move up the race now. Completely ignoring the hundreds of different moving parts that go into this. So now you have people on the internet being like, why don't they just put up lights? Yes, because you can just call up the light people and be like, hello, light people. Can you come and just install lights around this 2.66 mile oval track so that we can potentially maybe possibly, but more than likely not run on Sunday night. And they're like, yeah, we can't do that. It doesn't work that fast. And you're like, oh, okay. That actually does make sense now. Well, you, a logical person, understand that. These people, not so much. And plus, if you do the lights things, Talladega's not set up for lights. There, at no point was ever going to be a night race at Talladega other than on the EA Sports NASCAR video games which did look pretty cool. So now you have all these people being like, just move it up. And then Bob Pockers has to go and dunk on them like he's LeBron James in his prime, which is honestly, it's like shooting fish in a barrel, essentially. It's the easiest alley-oops he's ever gotten before because they just set themselves up. So you, if you can't just set up lights, well, then why don't you just move the race to Saturday? Well, you can't do that either because there's major broadcasting implications into this. They think that you can just control V, just move the schedule back a day or a forward a day. Essentially, somebody said, why don't you just run the ARCA race on Friday night? A completely different day. Yeah, why don't we just run it on, on Friday night? And then just run Cup and Xfinity on Saturday. We'll just ignore broadcasting. We'll ignore sponsorship activations and the time that they and money they've spent to be there on Sunday. We'll ignore team travel schedules, flight schedules, driver's arrival, tech, NASCAR getting all of their employees there. The track having enough people staffed on Saturday to handle not only a doubleheader, but also a cup race as well. Forget about all the people that bought tickets for Sunday that were planning on traveling just on Sunday. Now you got to try to travel a day earlier. That's not necessarily going to work. All the vendors that are going to be bringing food, beverage, ice, water, all the things. Yeah, now we just expect them to move it all up a day like that. People just do not think when they start to say things like this on the internet. And it's really unfortunate because at the end of the day, yeah, they could make some sort of changes, but they can't. And if it's going to rain, well, then you just got to put your goggles on. I don't have swim goggles, so we're just going with ski goggles. And you're just going to have to sit there and you're just going to have to deal with the rain. It's bad. I know. I just sat in Daytona for three days back in February. I don't want to be in Daytona for three days. Daytona's lovely, but Daytona in February when it's raining, not so much. And it's a bummer. You sit there and you're like, well, eventually the rain's going to stop. And then it did stop and it got sunny on Monday and I got burnt. And then I had to go to the airport on Tuesday morning looking like a fool. And then I realized, oh, we all look like fools because we are all at the race here. Rain delays have happened before. I don't understand why people are freaking out about it. I see multiple tweets to stories that's like, what happens in the uh, event of a rain delay in NASCAR? I don't know, dude. We're like trained professionals at this point. 
we sit around and we just wait for it to either happen on Sunday or we just come back on Monday and do it again. And if we do go and race on Monday, Bob Parker says the race likely going to start between noon and 1 p.m. Eastern time. Pretty standard for Talladega. And everyone's like, why don't they just put it on at 5 o'clock so more people can watch? Yes. Yes, you're right. Why don't we just ignore the travel schedules once again? Because it's a week. Now it's a short week. So now if you start at 5 o'clock, you're not getting out of there until 10 p.m. at the earliest. So the trucks aren't getting back to the shop until later into Tuesday morning. That's not going to work. Then they have to turn around. They have to drive to Dover and you have all these other things happening. People just don't understand the schedules right now. I'm very hot right now. It's These are not very effective when it's not raining out because I'm just sitting here. And I'm getting very warm. So, in the event of a rain delay on Sunday, we're going to sit around. Fox is going to make a bunch of bad jokes. Uh, not Fox necessarily, but Kevin Harvick and Clint Boyer are going to make a bunch of bad jokes. There's going to be some awkward silences. Kevin uh, is, mm, Kevin will likely make fun of Clint's alcoholism, which I don't think that there is alcoholism. I think he just enjoys a few beverages here and there. He'll also make fun of the lack of wins that Clint has compared to his number of wins. And then Mike Joy is going to sit there and be like, <laughs> Please stop. So yeah, that's what's going to happen if it was rain on Sunday. And then we'll come back and we'll race on Monday. And then it'll probably be typical Talladega race. I prefer a Talladega overcast. I don't know about you, but it feels like Talladega overcast is always a better race for me. And we have seen Talladega be rained out before. I mean, 2021 is a perfect example of that. Bubba Wallace gets his first win. We had Daytona rained out earlier this year. It rains in this country a lot. And typically where NASCAR is going. So the rain will happen at some point this weekend. Will it happen on Sunday? Who knows? Will it happen on Saturday night? We'll have to sit around and wait and find out. One thing's are certain, probably not going to rain on Monday, so we'll more than likely see you all on Monday. But for now, they can't just move races up just because the fans want them to. There's a lot of things that go into that, and unfortunately, NASCAR made the move, the right call, and now people think that's a precedent, except that's not what a precedent is. Because if there was going to be a state of emergency in Talladega... I got to take these off. Then, yeah, they might consider moving it up, but there's not going to be. It's rain and probably not a lot of lightning. So, at the end of the day, it's a rain delay. I'm ready to sit there and figure it out. I don't recommend wearing two rain jackets, though. I'm very hot right now. So, let me know in the comments what you think about rain delays. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.